So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how you can use different sounds to layer with piano in interesting ways. And of course, I'll share all these patches in the link in the description so you can access. So let's get into it. The first sound I'm going to talk about is just the raw piano on its own. So this is the sort of thing you might use for a ballad or in a more kind of stripped back acoustic worship setting where you don't want lots of sounds and you really want the vocal to be the kind of focal point. And that's nice and all, and there's nothing wrong with that sound. But a lot of the time, the modern worship sounds kind of become synonymous with a sort of pad sound. And this is what's called a shimmery pad. So this will be the next sound that I'll showcase. So as you can hear, it's quite an ethereal sort of sound. It sort of fills quite a lot of space underneath the piano, but it's also quite epic feeling and quite majestic. And you can use the mod wheel to kind of adjust the brightness. But you hear this in loads of contexts in worship songs. Another sound we can layer with piano really effectively is the organ. And the organ gives us a sort of, well, it's obviously less synthetic sort of sound, but it's kind of can fit quite nice with a sort of all sons and daughters sort of sound. I probably use this on songs like Great Are You Lord, Promises. And I've configured this patch in such a way that the mod wheel controls the um, sort of intensity of the organ and how many drawbars you've got out. What if we don't want the organ to sound quite so organic? What if we want to use something a bit more synthetic? And this is another sound that I've heard in quite a few contexts in worship songs, particularly in songs like Another in the Fire is a good example of this. There's also a few other kind of songs like Good Grace that feature this kind of sound. So you can see it definitely has a more synthetic quality than the kind of traditional organ, but it's still kind of modern sounding. So it's kind of a nice mixture between old and new, which I quite like in a sound really, something that can kind of appeal to both modern ears, but also perhaps people that are a bit older as well. Next sound that works really well with layering with piano is of course strings. And this is something that almost never really sounds bad. Um, it's quite hard to make it not sound good. Um, on its own, sometimes strings can sound a bit fake, but if you put them in the piano, they just really just sound great. And yeah, there's not really, there's not really much more to say than that. It's a sort of a classic sound and never really sounds too cheesy, even in 2021. This one's a bit more experimental. Um, it's a sound I've heard in a few places, the kind of, at least the idea of it, and that is to use pizzicato strings, but stick a lot of reverb on them. And it sort of creates this sort of plucking texture underneath the piano that's a bit more organic, but it's also a bit modern. And if you adjust the volume of the pizzicato, you can kind of change it in such a way that it, it sit back, sits back a bit more in the mix. Thank you. 
Another essential sound is the sound of a sine based pad. So the sine wave is one of the most simple waveforms. It doesn't have a lot of high frequency content in it, so it sits very nicely underneath vocals. It's also used in quite a range variety of sounds, styles. You hear it in gospel, you hear it in CCM as well, um, and all across the place really. But it sits really nicely and it's quite a warm, rich texture underneath the piano. Another basic sound really is the saw wave sound really. So here's just a saw wave based pad with a filtered sweep on the mod wheel. Now we move to the synth bell sound really. Now this is quite a, in some ways, cheesy 80s sort of sound, but it's kind of had a bit of a resurgence in recent years, I'd say. You can lay over a piano of though, and it sort of sounds a bit timeless in a way, because it's got this nice synthetic chimey quality with the organic nature of the piano. very modern sort of sound, very passion, Hillsong elevation. You'd hear this kind of sound in quite a few different places. Next is the reverse piano. Now this is commonly paired with the piano for more ambient kind of songs. I've heard this sort of sound on Oceans is the classic really, but the example here sounds much more like a song by Mosaic MSC called Tremble. But these sort of reverse piano, if you stick a lot of reverb on it, sounds really, really good. Next sound is a big synth, really. It's kind of a synth pad, I'd say, sort of. I'm using just the sound here from that I made for um, Sea of Victory by Elevation but it functions kind of as a pad, but also as a synth, which I think makes it quite unique in that sense. And you can use the mod wheel to control how intense it sounds. Next, another sound that works quite well with the piano is a sort of airy pad. So this sound is made using sculpture, which provides really great facilities for creating these kind of sounds. So you can sort of hear the air in the top end. Very ambient, fills a lot of space very nicely. But as with many of these sounds here, they don't really get in the way of you being able to actually be able to play the piano. And that's kind of the sole focus of these sounds. Next sound is so simple it's almost a cop out but it's basically just using a sub synth with the piano. So this is a very basic synth bass, I think it's just a sine wave so it doesn't really interfere with the high frequency stuff of the piano but it really just enhances the low end and gives it sort of a, a modern but sort of body to it in a way, which is quite hard to describe really, but you definitely hear it in, hear it in places. Next we have brass, which is another classic sound, but I'm not talking synth brass, I'm talking traditional brass, which can sound quite good, but I have to say in a lot of contexts, the sort of sound can be a bit cheap and they sound a bit fake. I've not put reverb on these horns here so you can hear them in their truest form. But if you do, it usually improves it a little bit. But yes, if you go third party, there's definitely been some better options available, but the ones in main stage are passable, they get by. Another sound that works well with piano is a whirly or an electric piano kind of sound. So this sits well with the piano because what it does is it sort of softens it in a way so you don't quite notice the attack of the piano quite so much. 
but it has a warmth that really lifts the mid mid range. Now we'll move to the more kind of modern synthetic side of things. So of course we've got to talk about pluck sounds. So this is a short, sharp synth sound. You can't really play it too many ways other than this really. You can kind of play it a bit less arpeggiated like I'm playing it. This sound here is what's called a Mellotron and it's made a a resurgence in recent years. I've heard this as an, a stem on various Hillsong tracks. It's got a sort of string sound, but it's a bit, a bit of a vintage kind of sound that's been around since the 70s. So pretty cool, but not for every track. Here we have just something I thought sounded pretty interesting, which is the sound of a marimba with a piano. And I think with this I'd just say don't be afraid to try stuff and sometimes it'll sound pretty cool. So there's an Avicii track where he combines a marimba with a piano and I thought it was pretty cool so I thought see what happens if we did it with a worship piano. But yeah it doesn't sound too bad and actually if you lower the volume of the marimba you might be able to create some interesting textures. Next, we have a kind of a big EDM sound. So this is, yeah, pretty much does what it says on the tin, really. Sounds pretty good with the piano. But it's very aggressive, so, so you've got to use it with caution. But you can see you can still play piano over it, and it doesn't sound too bad. The next type of sound is a choir sound. So choir patches underneath pianos can sound pretty cool. So on this one, I've just mapped the mod wheel to control the volume of the choir. So yeah, I'll just play a little bit and you can hear what it sounds like. But I think if you stuck a load of reverb on this, washed it out a bit, it would sound really good. But yeah, you can see that you can still play piano over it and it sounds good. And I think that's, I keep reiterating it, but it's the main focus of these patches really is to be very usable with a piano. So next we have another very organic sound, and that's the sound of the accordion, which I will say is another one you've got to use with caution, but you can still use it with a piano pretty well. So of course I've got to play my lighthouse, but yeah, this is the sort of sound that I'd say in a similar category to organ, those kind of sounds really. But I'd say with the accordion, you can definitely fit it in there, but if you were to use it in a more modern context, I'd definitely mix it a lot lower, so it's less obvious. The next kind of sound that works well with piano is big swelling synth. So this is a pad sound, which you hear a lot but it's basically what distinguishes it, which is it with some of the previous pad sounds is the fact you've got a big swell on it with a lot of space with the reverb. But yeah, it works really well. And you can still play piano, as you can hear. So the next sound is dulcimer. This is a plucked string instrument. It has a very kind of angelic quality to it. And sits very nicely with the piano particularly if you put a bit of delay and a bit of reverb on it so it's not quite so present but it sort of adds a nice initial attack which complements the pianos very well So next is a bit of a trip down memory lane and this is using a clav or clavinet sound. Now these were very popular in the 70s and I think probably 80s too, but I'll let you just have a listen. It's not really something that you can maybe use in super modern sounding songs, but, but it still works kind of well with piano and it's not, you know, it's not bad. 
and I think some of these sounds I'm just including just to kind of give you the full range of how flexible the piano is as an instrument for layering. Now, now we have an 80s classic and that is the synth brass sound. So I've got some very basic synth brass set underneath this piano here. It sounds pretty cool, sounds pretty good. Um, it's kind of made a bit of a resurgence in recent years, these sort of brassy synth sounds. Because they've always kind of had a tradition of kind of reminding you of cheesy 80s songs. But definitely in recent years they've sort of come back. Sorry about that, a bit of jazz for you. But this is um, an arpeggiated synth sound. They're very, very popular and they feel, they can feel quite a lot of space like what I've got here demoed. Uh, or you can push them back in the mix. They work really well in both contexts. And you can still play piano pretty well underneath them. So the next sound is a bit of an oddball, really. It's kind of really to demonstrate the pluck, really. But I've chose this sound because it's a bit weird and a bit unusual. So the next sound is a synth bass sound. Now you hear synth basses in lots of choruses in up-tempo up worship songs, and they really just provide that energy. The one thing I would say is I'd normally lay it with a few other things, unless they were in the track, but that just kind of shows you what it sounds like. And finishing off with some bigger sounds, this is the sound of what I've called LFO synth. I've got an LFO set to program to sweep up and down and it just sounds really huge and you hear this a lot as well. Final sound is a bit of a almost cop out really again but I would say there's some value in it and that's actually just the piano we started with again but we're just with a load of reverb added to it. And sometimes you don't even need to really add too much to the piano because if you add enough reverb, it can function both as a piano and a pad if it's used in a, this kind of atmospheric way that I'm using it right now. So that's just something to remember as well. So I hope some of the tips and tricks and thoughts I've shared have been somewhat useful, but if not, I'll just share the patch so you can have a play and think of some of your own ideas.